One of the major Arab slave traders, Tipu Tip, lived in this house and used the dank and dark underground chambers near the Anglican Cathedral to house his slaves, separating them according to sex. Inside the cathedral is a stark reminder of the cruelty and humiliation that these wretched individuals had to endure. This is the Cathedral Church of Christ, which was built in 1873. Before it was a church, on this very spot here grew a tree where slaves were bound and then whipped and beaten to assess their health and ability to work. If they passed that grueling test, they were then moved up here where another tree grew and they were tied on it and auctioned off and sold by slave traders. Even after the international community had banned slavery, unscrupulous individuals in Zanzibar continued with their nefarious trade. This was one of several concealed holding pens for slaves. From here, they would be led along this pathway to the nearby coast in the dead of night and shipped off to countries in the Middle East. All this was happening in the late 1800s, years after the abolition of slavery. In 1857, Livingston gave a sensational speech at the University of Cambridge about the horrors of slavery that he himself had personally witnessed on his Zambezi expedition. The result of this speech was the formation of the university's mission to Central Africa, formed by a group of Anglican academics. Their sole aim and purpose was the eradication of slavery in Africa and the promotion of Christianity.